in Losers Finals. And what happened is what happened when Angry Bird played Losers Tokido. Losers Semifinals, excuse me. Yeah, Losers Semis. When Angry Bird played against Tokido and Angry Bird played against Gotchkun, the sets went the same way. First game, he gets dunked. Like, he loses pretty convincingly, but the second and third games, he sticks to his playstyle and makes slight adjustments. And honestly, that is very, very impressive. To not get dissuaded and really stick to your game plan in those moments, I, I love it. I think he's a really impressive player to watch, and he's extremely good. Master of his character, for sure. Up against the Capcom Cup champion, Ngochkun, who has jumped a lot of hurdles this weekend, you know, beating Punk in a matchup where he's really struggled to defeat him in the past. That's been a demon of his. He's had a lot of close calls about the entirety of TGS, right? Yeah. He, he came into top eight from the loser's side, uh, going up against Fina, who's just like the and had to go to Big Bird, so. Really close set. All of them, yeah. A lot of these, a lot of these matches he's had have been very, very close. Can he take out the two birds back to back? That's the question, right? Angry Bird and Big Bird. He's one big stone, Steve. Yeah. Dang, two birds with one gotchi stone? That's pretty wild. I didn't even put that one together. That's pretty good. Dash up jab, no counter hits, so no combo. Nice center up there on the command one. Yeah, I mean, this is the same kind of thing as the last time these two played, I think, where Gotchkun knows Angerbird is wily. He likes to get in there, he Ooh. likes to slug, you know, but in this kind of a matchup, like, it's tough because his play style is hard to pin down. Beautiful. Oh, and what an answer for the wall jump, just at the right angle to get all that damage and the side switch as well. This character's good, Steve. Yeah, very, very good. Back throw. Interrupt with the crouch jabs. Yeah, even though he got hit by two jabs, you saw Angry Bird still hit, hit a standing leg kick after. No way. Got critical heart. Uppercut critical heart. You're dead. Man, that's the thing, he's wily. He jumps out, you know, you punish him, you know, you hit him with jab, jab to check him, then he hits a light kick anyway. Like, he is really, really hard convinced to sit still. But he breaks it down like a scientist, though, man. He's got his PhD in terms of Street Fighter V. He's Dr. Wily. Yeah, he is, he is a tough man to get a hold of. Can't lock him down. Walks in, walks Ooh. out. That neutral jump crouching medium kick is really hard to stop. It's a fast, low, uh, medium attack. It's tough to stop, and uh, it's tough to stuff, too. You gotta be really ready. Yeah, I love that. I love seeing Rashid players just kind of give that space, and if anybody goes airborne, they check with the jump medium punch into the Eagle Spike cancel. Keep him in this corner. Does have almost full critical right. There it is. Walk under. Just walks underneath. Beautiful, yeah. Up a down jab after to punish the landing frames. Dash up pressure, counter hit, look for the combo. Stuff. So I think that was a whirlwind shot that he was probably gonna cancel no B skill. Jump back jab. Almost stunned. Corner. I love that try. If that hit, he would have stunned. Even though the tornado was out, he would have taken the trade. Mm -hmm. Slide activate. Oh, Bushin flip mix up in the front. Nice block from Gachikun. One more sequence for both. Uh, Bro. Uh, not quite dead. Went he for the run. He tried to go for the V-Trigger run. That was not going to kill. Even if he had the V-Trigger run, he wouldn't have had critical art yet. Wouldn't have done enough damage to kill, but he would have been in a guess for game situation. Yeah, no three-frame jab. Angry Bird just hanging out. And you notice so that the way this matchup goes, right, is when he's young Zeku, you jump at him with Rashid. He has excellent jump buttons to do that. When he's old Zeku, you slow it down, you stop approaching from the air, you just maul him up close. That's the way this matchup has to go. When he's young, you can jump, and when he's four, you know, when he's uh, old, you gotta yeah, he's hang got a four out on frame the button, and you can really just smother him. Ooh, that's the setup. Very ambiguous. Can spend the rest of that V trigger, yeah. Wake up jab from Gachikun too does not respect the meaty. Still scary Checking though. This is, this is two touch. Oh, oh what? That's the second time he's missed a run. He missed a run cancel. Uh, no. It might be a sign of frustration him just doing that. Yeah, now. and then he walked into the tornado after. Weird. That was a super weird miss at the end. I think he tried to walk in and block it, but my guess is that when he activated V Trigger, Angry Bird thought he was gonna do Eel Spike or Mixer. He was like so sure of it, and he didn't go for it. Maybe he saw a Wiggle or something, and then. Try to walk a block after it gets clipped for it. We've seen those, those command ones uh, a couple of times in that game alone. I wonder what could have been happening on the side of Angry Bird. Yeah, that's a drop. Ooh. Counter hit combo? Nice. Wake up jab too. Yeah, you notice how when he goes for the wall jump, he doesn't get crazy and always try to snipe it. It's always when he's up close that he can punish with the jumping medium punch or something. Ooh. He just waited him out. He's like, okay, I'll let you wall jump. Oh, and the one time he went forward, he tried to anti-air with the HP spinning mixer. Yeah, it didn't work out. Gets the dash under. Look for the three frame frame trap uh, with Young Zeku crouching medium punch, crouching oh. jab, crouching medium punch is the frame trap now. Run up. That time he got the cancel. He's missed that run cancel a few times. Oh. Crouch counter doesn't activate. 
Yeah, looks for the frame trap. Got to no buff. Again, no activate. Good confirm there from Angry Bird. He's just going for the slide. Yeah, you only want to try to activate usually when it's blocked, right? Why you try to throw him when he ran up? Woo! Just out of range. Yeah, Eagle Spike for an extra bit of damage. Oh, oh, he's got a jab. Not Air enough. Up from Gatagoon. Tash up. Oh, walks out of the throw. Out One hit wins. That's oh, that. that is oh, the hit right there. What he needed. Not going to have to spend the critical art at all. Bring him down. Yeah. Two bar kill with the X air throw after. Nice work from Angry Bird to know. He doesn't need to commit additional like meter or gauge or anything like that. Just two bars. Not the full three. <laughs> Run up after. HP mixer again for the anti air. Gotcha the consistency ready. from Gotcha Kuhn is on point. The only thing that's actually stuffed that whirlwind, or excuse me, the uh, spinning mixer was off the wall dive kick, right? Ooh, he tried the early jump heavy punch. That's tough Too for him to out. answer here, but mm -hmm. uh, he just walked under. Good choice. The dash up. I feel like the dash up timing so far from Angry Bird has been really good. He's like Again. going off. Crush. Crush counter. Yeah, yeah meaty gram. Uh -oh. Back up. Yeah, young Zekka mode. Yeah, it's because you win in one hit for Angry Bird here. There's no reason to really overcommit on pressure. And you can't get away with those, those uh, whirlwind shots because he can critical art through them, so. Faded! Oh! That walk-in, walk-out was clean. Young man, he's in Zeku mode. I love it, man. The yeah. walk in and out of there, the whiff punish, nice and easy. A big transition from the first game. You saw the frustration towards the end, the missed critical art, just walking the tornado. This time around, gets two rounds over Gachi Kun. Like, dude, as far as I'm concerned, this is according to plan. When they played in winner's side, it was, you know, outside of top eight, so two out of three. He lost the first game convincingly. I mean, what did we see last time, right? Yeah. Uh, last game. And then second game, he wins. It's the exact same thing that happened the last time these two played. He just, you know, first game, he's kind of figuring things out. Second game, he sticks to his style and makes little adjustments to get the job done. Big counter hit combo. <gasps> Missed them. Missed it again. What is happening? These input errors. Oh, the walk up off of that stand strong counter hit again. Ugh. That's busy, yeah. Gotcha getting too many buttons on defense. The X gram, the palm after, Ooh. great positioning. Overhead. Overhead. He didn't get both hits though because it was out of the air. The I universal, keep yeah. him locked down. Yeah, that is a two hit forward heavy bunch uh, overhead from Zeku, but he didn't get both hits of it. Clipped him out of the air. So not the full damage. It would have actually killed if he was on the ground. I don't like that. He could just, or actually, he threw out a crouch fierce first to see if Gotchkin was going to dash forward, right? Mm -hmm. Angry Bird, after that happened, moved on out of there, went to young Zeku mode. Wow, walked down with the standing medium punch. He's really fishing for it now. I think he found a lot of those counter hits last round, so he's convinced now that Gotchkin's going to hit buttons. Walk Ooh. under back throw. That does so much damage. Counter yeah, hit. Side delay. Yeah, that was going to be tough to combo out. Yeah, the dash up too. He's got V trigger already. That's why he goes for the slide. Wake up buttons though. And no combo. I'm surprised he didn't do the mixer. There's the activation. He's going to try to throw Big time threat. Overhead. Overhead instead. Critical art. You know it. Gotcha Kun spending that cash. Yeah, that was a very safe choice. He didn't try any other juggles. He just went right for the critical art. Keep it nice and simple off the overhead. Commit the bar, which you lose for this last round. But I think to get the kill, you know, it's better safe than sorry. 100%. Doesn't go for like any other juggle VX or anything. That one you can kind of see actually. I felt like that Bushin flip wasn't too ambiguous. Nice check with the low forward during the spinning mixer. Checking with the button afterwards. Angry Bird woke up with the cross jab again. That Fierce Fierce is so good. You can confirm it, get the side switch on it. Man, he can back dash and then immediately close the gap again that quickly. Yeah, mobile really? character. Wake up, jump. He was like, I'm out of here. Doesn't want to deal with the corner positioning. Switch. Into the young Zeku already. Better, you know, options. He's got V-Trigger, so you want to have that slide activate. Challenge the dash. Oh. Threatening with that stand strong over and over again. This should be more than enough. Gotcha, yeah. boom. He Get is dead. Cleaned Two up with Critical one. Art last time. Cleaned up with Critical Art this time. And the thing is, like, that's Angry Bird's style. He was close to Dizzy. And he just kept swinging. He was like, oh, I'm dizzy. You know, I'm close to dizzy. Oh, I'll hit another button. Oh, I get counter hit again. Oh, I'll hit another button. And just runs into a crouching heavy punch that uh, stuns him. You know, a little overzealous on the ground, and that cost him. But that's his play style. I, I don't feel know if like he's going to change it up for this yeah. next game, right? He's on his last leg here, uh, being at a deficit. Gachikun looking in great condition to take it over Angry Bird. Yeah, it's just, that's what makes him so interesting to watch. Is like, he's just like, Ooh, he's like, God, you counter hit me, fierce. you know, you counter hit me all these times. Whatever, dude. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm gonna do. Yeah, three frame up. challenge. That's plus one after that crash medium punch. Nice neutral. Called out the yeah, slide. I was actually very surprised you even tried to throw a button. Out there. Ooh, 
Nice, checking on the way out. And hit a button again. Like, literally was about to be stunned on anything. Huge damage. This is Dizzy if he wants it. Yeah, uppercut didn't stun. Ooh, out of there, spinning mixer. Great call from Dotsku because he does get the setup for the whirlwind. I love that. That Disco was roll. perfect. Oh. Throws him. Yeah, the whirlwind's gone now. Nice. That Everything about that round was beautifully played from Gotchkun. When he had the Whirlwind come out, he didn't do anything. He was like, okay, let me, let me let my stun just run out. Once stun is gone, then I'll approach. He's skilled in. What a fierce from that range. Angry Bird got clipped by it. Counter conversion, Eagle Spike. Bad news for Angry Bird right now. Still firing away. He does not stop pressing buttons. He still reversal jab. Like, he was like, no, I'm gonna hit this three frame jab. I don't care. We'll try oh, to... he baited him! Okay. Beautiful combo, yeah. Standing medium punch, a little walk into the second standing medium punch again. Flip in the front. That was a good block from yeah. Gotchkun. <gasps> Running in his face. Back throw. Yeah, a little Look too far. Again. Punish. He's got V-Trigger as well. Last hit doesn't kill. No button from Gotchkun. He played it super safe. And the crouching leg kick. He was just on the prowl, looking for that last little hit. Dashed up and found it. So Angry Bird. A lot of meter in this, and a lot of momentum kind of swinging his way. You can feel him just getting more and more comfortable. Just trying to stay alive. He does have himself in the corner now. Got cool. Trying to get this win early. Multiple throws. Nice break there. The fierce coming out from uh, Angry Bird. Excuse me. Nice meter to get off. Press the button after the roundhouse from Zeku. Back throw into the corner. Gosh, could missed the combo, actually. He wanted to jab, jab into the mixer. Counter He's it. still going. Angry Bird cannot be stopped. Another. Bottom low, a little too far for that whirlwind shot the combo out of the corner. Still jumping, chasing around, you know, angry bird. V reversal out again. Doesn't want to get smothered by the whirlwind shot. Yeah, and the jump away too, you know, that kind of defensive play looking low. Goshkun has V trigger available, but he wants to, you know, make sure he activates in a safe range. Oh. Run up, back throw. This is huge. Sneaky, sneaky. Forward throw, expect the activation. Some, uh, there it is. V reversal, but he gets hit. Okay, so nothing after. Critical Ooh, arm available. That could have been it. You can't throw a lazy whirlwind shot. <gasps> Missed the combo. That's a punish. That's My the God. kill. Oh no! Another drop from Gachapun. That was that was supposed to be crouching light kick, crouching jab, light mixer. It's the mixer. It had to be what he wanted, right? Like it had to be what he wanted. It's just another big drop there. Man, that is rough. We got another game of Street Fighter for these two, man. The more matches you give Angry Bird, right? The, least, the more lethal he is. Yeah, and it really feels like, you know, these sets, the speed of them cause mistakes. You know, you can kind of tell that Gachkun is, you know, feeling the pressure of this speed, this pace that he's playing up against Angry Bird, and mistakes happen when you play in that kind of, like, rushdown, you know, oh, even no, like that. Oh, no, you saw it right there. He that tried to play the but he went for, yeah. He still managed to get Crouch Fierce instead. He didn't get the mixer in time. Yeah, and that's what happens. When you play someone who plays fast like this, the speed can make you make mistakes, and that's what Angry Bird lives on. Ooh, run up to his face, got counter hit, trying to contest. The stun is there, Angry Bird. Spend the bar. He acts after this. Uh -huh. Ooh. Run that overhead. That is such a cool combo. I'm not going to hit you too hard. You hit me a little, only a little bit. Two bars, kill, and that was just beautiful. You can tell Angry Bird's feeling good, right? Just the, the pace he plays is so impressive. No uppercut. Didn't get the anti here, but I imagine we'll see the switch, yeah. Young Zeku early. Reframe check. Looking really, really good for Angry Bird. Nice tech from Gachiku right at the last second. Challenge oh. again. And he's working One on One more Dizzy. sequence for stun. Jumping out of there. Chasing, Chasing him, down. him down. Dude, he got hit by that and he's still One swinging. One more? He oh, overhead? Man. Not gonna be enough. Wait. He's got two he's bars. Got two yeah, bars. He's dead. EX. He's dead, dead. EX palm. Ugh. The he's, third hit. That is insane. Angry Bird is in top three over Gajagoon despite being down. Moving Ooh, on. Couldn't fine. kill two birds with one stone. Only got the big bird. In a close set, too. Think about that. Gachagoon had a nail biter against both of them. Oh my god. But that's a top three finish for Angry Bird. He's going to be going up against Mago in our losers' finals. Dang. Flying over the competition. I see you. Now he's going to try to avenge his teammate, Big Bird, in this matchup against Mago. It's very in impressive. Finals. To travel to a foreign country like this, right, and especially Japan, which is just full of incredible players, right? Mm -hmm. It's just so stacked of an event. And show up and make top three, really, really impressive. You know, Japanese players come to other countries and do that all the time. But to show up to Japan,